The new 25 megawatt solar plant, located 45 kilometers outside Usakos in the Irongo region, marks a significant step for Namibia's decarbonization efforts. The solar plant will supply electricity to the national grid, enough to power at least 18,500 homes or three small towns. Bumba stated that this is a concrete step towards fulfilling the noble goal of decarbonization. The launch of the plant, he says, aligns with Namibia's quest for energy sufficiency and its commitment to developing new economic sectors, including green hydrogen and green industrialization. These sectors are aimed at creating local value, promoting job creation and driving economic diversification. President Bumba also clarified that there is no contradiction between Namibia's efforts to develop its newly discovered oil resources and its decarbonization agenda. He emphasized that the country's focus remains on an energy transition, allowing Namibia to gradually move towards renewable energy while integrating oil as part of a diverse energy mix. I would like to commend UNIVER and partners, the Yusakos Town Council and its mayor, as well as both the indigenous and foreign investors, NAMPAWA and the Lion Ministry of Mines and Energy, for their excellent work, Timo, for their excellent teamwork, which ensured that the project not only successfully weathered the negative economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, but continued until completion. We commend you for your dedication to economic growth and development in Namibia and wish this substation substantial investment and in sounding success. Mines and Energy Minister Tom Alwenda said the Moses Mawe Arweb solar plant represents a major milestone in Namibia's broader efforts to ensure a sustainable, clean energy future. Now, this plant, built in collaboration with independent power producers, is a shining example of the private sector's crucial role in strengthening Namibia's energy landscape. We must continue to create an enabling environment that attracts investment into power generation, particularly renewable like this one, and also other cost-effective solutions. The managing director of ANIREP is Iyalo Yanangolo. Can project alone has capacity, which was alluded to, of more than 18,500 homes. This is equivalent of three small towns in Namibia. This project is remarkable engineering feat, which was mentioned. Uh, what I also want to highlight of these 47,000 or so uh, panels, they are all what we call bifacial panel. Nam Power's managing director says they are committed to supporting government's objectives as set in the national planning policies. A significant day for the electricity supply industry in the country as projects as, as projects such as this one are contributing greatly to increasing local electricity generation capacity and the local self-sufficiency while further contributing to national development objectives such as job creation and social upliftment.